they're gonna break up because of you. I just had some Earl Grey tea, so I got some, I got some caffeine. I got some caffeine and some honey in me. I'm like a little, I'm like a little honey bear. <laughs> Welcome everybody, everybody. Welcome to Trending Trends Trend with Ben Jaja. I'm Ben Jaja. You're you and you're great. And that's something that needs to be mentioned at least once a day, uh, if not a gajillion times. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to the show, Trending Trends Trend, where we go into YouTube to find out what's trending every day. We react, we listen, we learn, and we have a good time. Um, right now, if you're just new to the channel, like and subscribe and comment, uh, do those things. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, it really means a lot to me and I think you're super duper. Uh, anyway, today we've got uh, We Broke Up is Trending by Chris and Ian. I don't know Chris, I don't know Ian. I'm sure one of them is right and the other one is wrong. I'm kidding, they're both probably half wrong and half right and that's how life goes. But let's check out their video called We Broke Up. Uh, at the end of the video, stay tuned, we do word of the day, uh, where we uh, look at a new word and we learn something, and isn't that neat? All right, uh, here we go. We broke up, Chris and Ian. Let's see who uh, who messed it all up. Cold calling? Sure am. That's just an ad with a baby. That's just a baby with a mustache. All right, here they are. Okay, hello. Hello. Chris Welcome and Ian. to our channel. My name is Ian Paget. I'm Chris Olson. Oh wow, it feels so funny to say that. You may have seen us from my breakup announcement on my TikTok page, his breakup announcement on his TikTok page, our breakup announcement trending on Twitter, our breakup article in E! News, our breakup article in Paper Magazine. That's where we're at. And if you're new, we're so glad this is how you're finding us. Yes, I'm new. Absolutely. What a time to meet us. What a time. What a time. What a time. Because we want to take uh, <laughs> time to essentially just share that we are okay and kind of just talk about what's going on. Being in the public eye the way we've been for these last um, like year and a half, two years, is wild. Yeah. And sure. extremely complex, layered, pressurized, so many things. For now, we've just decided that it would probably be in our best interest to be moving through the world unromantically. We're okay, and we want you guys to be okay, and we just wanted you guys to know, just because we're not together in a romantic relationship doesn't mean that we can't work on a very meaningful and deep connection and relationship. I will always love this human <laughs> so much. I want, I will. I will. I will. That's nice. I'm just so grateful to have had the time with him in the way that we have. I just look forward to what's what's coming together, separately, all the things. All of my captions were like, this isn't an end, but a shift. And I think we truly mean that. I, I also... Chris is out of focus right now. So he's probably the one uh, that that messed it all up. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so far, here are, my, here are my extrapolations, interpretations, and procrastinations. Um, these look like two nice, fine young men, uh, and, and, you know, sometimes relationships are tough, you know, slice it down the middle, split apart, what do you got? The, the Ruiz Canal. No one knows, no one knows, it's just sometimes relationships are tough, especially when you're young, and, um, and you're attractive. Look, these guys are both attractive guys, they're, they've got the, their whole lives ahead of them. You know, sometimes breaking up is the only way to, to break back, to break in to the next thing. All right, here we go. Uh, from my therapist when we were talking because it's truly what I think we want this to be. When we started doing social media, we were had only been together for seven months and we also were just doing it for fun. It wasn't like we got a TikTok and we're like, let's get a job. Let's make this our whole entire lives. And it just kind of happened that way. When you've only been together for seven months, you don't even know each other that well. So to suddenly be shipped as this like perfect, amazing couple who if we ever were to break up, people aren't gonna be believe in love. It was just like a lot of pressure. And I know when, I know no one meant to put that pressure on. They were just speaking with so got much it. joy. <laughs> it's your fault, people. You did this. You put the pressure on them, and now they're going to break up because of you. Take personal responsibility for calling them perfect. There ain't no such thing as perfect, okay? I think it was just like such a whirlwind to go from being in a long distance relationship to COVID living together to becoming the Chris and Ian that you knew to be Chris and Ian. We really, really feel the love and the support and I feel the love from him and I give him all my support and vice versa, I hope. Um, but, uh, you know, life happens. 
happens and being in this public eye is crazy. So we just kind of ask for some privacy, some support. We'll still be in each other's lives and we'll still be in your guys' lives together, separate. So new season. <laughs> new chapter, yeah, chapter, new book, new magazine, new movie, new series. I think that's all of the forms of media. New podcast. Delhi. I don't know. So we will continue to work on ourselves and hopefully bring you some content. He says that people who like, that's not how you wink. I'm like, that's literally how people in the movies do that sometimes. When they're like trying to be funny. They're like, I got it. Well, mm. it's just because you can't wink, so you turn your head all the way to one side so someone can't see your other eye. Yeah, so technically, it's still a wink. Guys, it's don't not... fight. Don't fight on camera, okay? Uh, Come on, to guys. It. Right. You just have to practice in the mirror. Totally. I can't do it. Oh, it wow. Chris is so over it. Video, <laughs> we didn't really mean and say, remember to focus on your blooming. Focus on your blooming? Not you. All right, all right, all right. We... I'll wave to you like that as you're waving to us like that. Let's all right now, oh hold on, I don't care about it. Let's like it and let's subscribe to them. Let's give them some support. Let's hit that bell with the notifications on. We did it, get it out of here. All right. All right, so Chris and Ian broke up. It was time, all right? Look, when a love grows stale, there's nothing more uncomfortable. It's like walking around your apartment with 3,000 eggshells on the ground, all right? Nobody wants to be in that. And those of you that are in relationships where it's like that, it's time. It's time to pull the cord. It's time to cut the cable, all right? Look, it's fine, all right? There are so many people out there. And not only that, there's yourself. What about loving yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mean like in that way, all right? But what I mean is you got to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you can go on loving other people and having healthy relationships, creating necessary boundaries, making sure that you're communicating effectively. All right. Sorry, I am on an extra. I just had some Earl Grey tea, so I got some. I got some caffeine. I got some caffeine and some honey in me. I'm like a little. I'm like a little honey bear. I'm a little honey bear Ben. All right, little Winnie the Pooh Ben. Um, okay, wow, that was great. Uh, let's do word of the day. Uh, here we go. Word of the day. Bing. Wow. Okay, we got a good one. This one's tough. Mercurial mercurial yeah quick to change moods or change one's mind having an unpredictable temperament synonyms of mercurial include flighty impulsive fickle capricious eh, volatile erratic and protean <laughs> that's a word i've never heard before protean antonyms include stable fixed steadfast and variable and immutable uh, mercurial, quick to change moods or change one's mind, having an unpredictable temperament. You would say that Chris and Ian were not mercurial in their decision to break up. Uh, it was probably something that uh, was stewing and brewing for a while, and they came to a uh, steadfast decision that they needed to split apart, focus on themselves, so that they could focus on others in a positive way. Uh, go ahead right now, like, comment, subscribe to this video. Uh, tell me something. Uh, you know what? Hold on. If you subscribe to this channel, I'll subscribe to you. And here's how you do that. Just in the comment section, write your channel's name and I'll go and subscribe. We'll do a, a, a one for one, a ping to pong, all right? Um, that's how it goes uh, when you're a, 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 a nascent YouTuber making your darndest and dayendest. Uh, check out my other channel, Dumb Owl, where I make original scripted comedy sketches. I write them, I shoot them, I direct them, I'm in them, I compose the music, I edit them, I do all the fun tricks uh, and all the fancy feasts over there, so check that out if you can. And um, if this video, if you like this video, then good, stick around, all right? Get into the channel, come in, all right? The water is tepid, which means lukewarm. All right, uh, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, when you feel like life isn't going to get any better, just know it always gets better. Uh, stay good. Let's blast off. Ben Force. That's it. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit right here and ask you to subscribe. I'll wait until you do it. So go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it.